Now, Le'Veon Bell signing with the Chiefs is probably the biggest news in the NFL right now. And everyone is saying that now the Chiefs are a super team, and by their roster they are. But could this actually be a bad thing for the Chiefs? Hi guys, I'm Ativ, and in this video I'll be going over what the Le'Veon Bell signing means for the Kansas City Chiefs and how it could affect their future. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, Le'Veon Bell, he started his career off with the Steelers, as we all know, and he had three great seasons there, but he has such a big ego and he's more of a team killer. Like, this guy sat out for a whole season because he wasn't getting the contract he wanted. And that could affect the Chiefs in a big way. Like. We know that if Le'Veon Bell doesn't get his money, then what's gonna happen to him? I mean, we know that he's not gonna play this week because of the virus protocols, but we'll see how he does in the future. Like, they already have Clyde Edwards Hilaire and Le'Veon Bell's gonna be their power back, but that is for this season because if Darren, Damian Williams, sorry, comes back next season, then he's gonna be their power back because we all know he's a great running back. He got near 500 yards last season, and he had a really good Super Bowl game as well with two touchdowns, I believe, which is insane. And no one expected Damian Williams to do this good. Now, Le'Veon Bell, he was not good on the Jets at all, and many people are saying that's because the Jets didn't know how to use him, and obviously they have Adam Gaze, who is probably the worst coach in the NFL right now, but, I mean, Andy Reid's a great coach, don't get me wrong, but do the, how can the Chiefs, where are they getting all this money from? Like, there's, I, I don't see any way they're going to keep him next season when you have Damian Williams, and you're probably going to have to, I mean, like, Travis Kelsey already got his contract, you're paying Chris Jones, you're paying Patrick Mahomes. I mean, this is just a lot of money, and the Chiefs can't spend that much money, like, they're soon enough going to run out of money if they somehow haven't already, which I'm pretty sure they have. And with Clyde or with Hilaire, who just broke out onto the scene this season as a rookie, I don't know how Le'Veon Bell's going to do. We know that he is a receiving back. And the Chiefs, I mean, like, their roster is looking like a Super Bowl team. But Le'Veon Bell, he's more of a team killer, I feel like. His ego is just so big. And, I mean, Andy Reid, don't get me wrong, he's an insane coach, like I've already said, but Le'Veon Bell, I don't think he can play next season on the Chiefs with Damian Williams coming back. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is a good thing for the Chiefs necessarily. Like, their roster is stacked, but Le'Veon Bell, you don't need him at all. Okay. Let's go over this. You have Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. And Sammy Watkins is a pretty underrated receiver as well. So, I mean, that's already three pretty good receivers and tight ends. And you have Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who, as we said already, is having a great season. Damian Williams is coming back as well next season. And you don't need Le'Veon Bell as at all. I mean, like... The Dolphins would have been a much better landing spot for him, I feel like. What is Le'Veon Bell going to do on this offense? Yes, you could say he's going to be a receiving back, but I don't... I feel like this is disrespectful to Clyde edwards -Hilaire. I mean, y'all picked him in the first round, and now this is what you treat him with? Like, come on, guys. Be better than that. Your defense... I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Le'Veon Bell is already building chemistry as the days go with the Chiefs. But just, what is the point of this? I feel like it's just pointless. And, I mean, this could even hurt your Super Bowl hopes in a way. I don't know, like, you can see his highlights up on the screen right now, but we'll see how this is going to affect them in the long run. Now... I think that I've made it clear that in the long run, I think that this is going to be a bad idea. But I want to see what you guys think down in the comments below. So that is it for this video. Thank you for listening and bye.